So my brother just got into town. We're loading up the truck. It's Thursday night. We're leaving tomorrow morning about 5 a.m. Heading out to Camp Redthorn. Put some bucks on the ground for opening our gun. It's gonna be awesome. Driving out to the land, stopped at Quick Trip. What's on sale? Nice. Boom, stocked up on them. That's a tree stand must when it comes to gun season. Unloading the trucks. Back at the same Airbnb as last year. Hopefully it's good luck. Kelly got a nice buck last year we stayed here. Maybe it's Blake's turn, huh? Yeah, that'd be nice. There's our pack mule. Bringing up some of the stuff. <laughs> well, that's me. Pack mule. Night before gun season. Driving around. See if we can spot any. We got a lot of new bucks on camera. Probably six new bucks. Um, should be an interesting morning. We had some great bucks moving in the middle of the day yesterday by us. Hopefully, they're in by us tomorrow morning and we can put a couple of them on the ground. The uh, the neighbor was bow hunting this morning and he said he didn't see anything, which means they're probably all in by us because we might have a hot doe the way it looks like on camera. So, it's a good sign because when we don't see nothing, they're all on their place and if they're not seeing them, they're on ours. So, fingers crossed. Let's go time in the morning. Well, it's opening morning and gun season. <clears throat> uh, it's about 9.30. Katie went back to warm up at the truck already. Uh, her feet got cold, so sitting in the blind alone. Um, it sounds like she actually might go sit over by Kelly because Kelly's stand is in the sun and ours isn't. So it sounds like uh, Kelly is doing pretty good over there sitting in the sun. She's got a heater in there too. So I haven't seen a deer all day yet. A lot of shooting around us, so we've probably heard 40 shots already and it's only 9.30. So um, somebody just did like a three round burst behind me across the road. So. I'm sure they're driving deer and uh, it looks like the farmer is taking his equipment out he's going to take that cornfield across the road too he was taking it yesterday until it got slimy and greasy on top and then uh, he stopped shelling so he's going back up to shell right now but we'll see <clears throat> maybe once he gets that equipment running in that cornfield he'll bump some stuff across the road to us that'd be really nice hey everybody opener of gun season in Wisconsin normally I drive the Ranger out but I walked this morning guess I shouldn't have done that I heard lots of deer running away I actually uh, brought out my uncle's rifle he just passed away so let the good luck be with us. We've got about an hour left of light, or I should say legal shooting light, so it's been a crap, crap day. Haven't seen a single deer on the farm between all three stands. Hopefully this last hour is going to be the witching hour and they're all going to move and everyone's going to shoot big bucks. 
odds of that happening are probably 1%, but the odds are always there, so fingers crossed, if not today, we will be back at it tomorrow out here, the wind's dying down, let's see, it's going to be 41 tomorrow, a lot calmer, so maybe they move, maybe they won't, who knows. Well, just got the first action of opening day, and it was two does. And it's too dark to even see. On film, anyway. Well, let's hope for a better Sunday. Not sure what Sarah saw yet tonight, but the neighbor did shoot, and he won't say what he got. They do. Yep. Second morning. Saw five does yesterday total. Horrible day. Today's the day we see all the bucks, right? Let's spray down and get out there. It's day two here in Wisconsin of our 2019 deer season. I saw a doe fawn this morning. Uh, that was it. So it's actually <clears throat> one more deer than I saw yesterday, which is pretty pathetic. So hopefully uh, our grandfather will show up pretty soon and uh, one of us will get a shot at one. There's a lot of shooting around us right now, a bunch across the road bunch to the north of us so maybe they'll move something in here we're not sure but gotta be optimistic right Here comes my substitute. She's gonna cover the stand while I go sneak into the jungle. Try to get a deer tornado moving out here. Let's see what happens. Well, Artie and I uh, just switched spots, so I came back into his stand. Just like a penthouse in here, there's a lot of room. He's got a nice big chair. everybody 
had to switch up my tactic a little bit. Was up on the hill, but I hear they're cutting the corn. So I'm gonna get down in the one corn field. Sarah's in the back one. Hopefully we have a lot better luck tonight. Stay tuned, I gotta go. Tuesday morning of the Wisconsin gun season. Yesterday did not go so well at all. Out at our farm in Vernon County, so we came home and uh, decided to hunt the farm down here. Well, we've got some real nice deer running around, so we are gonna spray down, get into the stands, set up, and uh, Hopefully knock buck. a couple big ones down, right? Yeah. One, two, three. I three mean, bucks. Three bucks would be nice. Yeah. What's Phil takes? Yep. Meat patrol. Knock some does down too. We got doe tags to punch. Got a freezer to fill. Yep. Three freezers to fill. Yep. Let's do it. It's about 8 o'clock. <clears throat> I saw two small bucks in a doe this morning, but nothing we're shooting at, so I think we're actually going to do some deer drives today and try to bump some stuff around. We are uh, a couple guys short of what we would need to cover everything, so uh, I'm not sure if we're going to go up and do a couple drives with uh, my father-in-law or if we're going to try to do some stuff here on the farm, but try to make something happen. It's been extremely slow and crappy to say the least, so got to make something happen. They're not going to come to us, so we got to go to them now. Well, wanted to climb up in the stand this morning where the cut corn was, and I noticed there was some pegs missing, so I didn't feel safe, and when I climbed down, I cleared the cornfield. But, I just heard Sarah shoot, and she said she was shooting at wide six. So I'm gonna give it about an hour, and let's hope that she hit him. We'll go over by her and find out.
we did find a little blood. I think he pooped there too. So. I mean, I could hit him on the first shot too. Guess we'll find out. Well, unfortunately, we only found little bits of blood and we kicked up Sarah's buck. He didn't really look like he was hurt. So, I'm going to sneak back into the stand and hope that he comes back out tonight. Or another big boy. Because they are loving the coin. Well, like I said this morning, we did a couple of drives a day. They weren't coming to us, so we took it to them. Um, got two decent ones. Missed a couple. We're going back out tomorrow morning. It's going to be bad, bad weather tomorrow, so I don't know what we're going to do. We'll try to sit the morning, but it's supposed to be gust up to 40 and rain all day. So we're going to make a plan and go after them again tomorrow, hopefully. We'll see. See what the weather does. Otherwise, I'm going to skin out a couple of these doughs that we got and package them up. And my brother's going to take them home with him. He's got to go home for Thanksgiving, so meet in the freezer. So I got him? I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's who I saw in the corn. <laughs> so he went up and came all the way back around? Unbelievable. He's a little... Can't believe we just walked up on him. He stinks. The end to wide six. Oh my gosh. I, I can't knew. believe it. It's who I shot at out in the corn the other day. And today, we finally found him. I can't believe it. You're not going to believe it. What? Guess what just happened? What happened? Sorry, I'm hiking up the hill. I'm all out of breath. <laughs> I just found your mom's buck she shot the other day. 
just That's gonna grab was a nice and buck. Go back out to grab him. Black Friday and we're headed back out to the land. Sarah found her buck, so that's awesome. Um, so we're gonna go find out the details on that and hopefully see them tonight for dinner and check out and get some pics. Uh, it's been pretty slow here at home. We did some drives with the family um, and got a few does, a few bucks. There's a lot of bucks at my dad's deer camp, so there's some good stories there on Wednesday night that we had. Enjoy Thanksgiving with our families. We have a lot to be thankful for. So now we're gonna head back out and hopefully have success this weekend. What a crazy day. Can't believe we found wide six. Well, Let's hope for a good night. Well, we got Kelly all set up. She's up in her stand. We got her cover over. Um, then I, I came back here and did mine. I got my cover on. I'm sitting back here by the river next to the uh, property we call the jungle. And I'm overlooking a big flooded area and then off is a big bedding area to the left of that. There's a big patch of whips. There's some tracks in the mud, not as much as I had hoped, but there's some deer around, which is a good sign. No one's been on our place since Monday of gun season, so the third day of gun season, today's the 8th. So we kind of left it like a sanctuary in hopes that stuff will get chased in here and realize there's no human scent in here and they would hang out, but we'll see. We'll see what unfolds today and tomorrow. Hopefully one of us will get a crack at a nice one. Here comes that lovely rain snow mix they were talking about. It's gonna be fantastic. Thank God we got these enclosures on. Alright, it's 11 a.m. We're gonna head back in and warm up, uh, grab some hot food. Uh, I don't know if Kelly's gonna come back out or not, actually. She might go shopping with Sarah, so we'll see what's gonna shake down with that. But we're gonna head back in for now. And then uh, I'll be out a little bit later for sure. So nothing moved this morning. Um, just saw a pair of eagles, and that was about it. Neighbor shot a couple times, uh, but they can't shoot anything. So, um, but that's okay too. Everyone's got tags to fill, so they can shoot whatever they want. It's their tag. I'm going for a big buck right now, and hopefully this afternoon's hunt produces one. So. Well, it's Saturday, the second weekend of gun, and it's going to be pretty rainy and nasty, so I decided to switch up tactics and put in a blind so I don't get too wet and see if there's something on this side of the cornfield. Since nothing else has been that hot, let's hope for something better. It's about noon, I just got it set up. I'm gonna go dry off and head back out. It's about 12.37 and the weather has gotten worse. Just got back in the blind. I went warmed up a little bit, ate some lunch. Back after it. I don't know if anything's gonna move today or not, but hopefully something does. We'll see, we saw a guy with a nice one in the back of his truck. We talked to him a little bit. He said he shot at 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, 
nice four-year-old moving with a little buck, so gives us a little hope that something's moving today, but this weather is bad, so let's see, let's see what moves. Maybe that was from the foggy skull. Look at that rack. That's it's a nice, nice rack. It's crazy the white on that. He's pretty. That That's a nice a... deer biary. I agree. Getting late, so I need to take something. He's nice. Must have been that five side I was counting. <laughs> eh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about. Don't hang them next to yours. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus buck. And the fo the scope was so foggy when I picked it up, I'm like, oh no. Oh, that's cool. It's got like the droop. Yeah. I wonder what, I wonder what is it? And this is all white in here. What's that from Robin? I don't know. Look at all white. That's weird. A couple spots like that. That's cool. I wonder if that's an injury from velvet or what? It's like smeared, like the bone is smeared. Mm -hmm. I just it figured, you know, windy. nothing was coming to the corn or anything, so I had to do something different. Yep. Sarah said there was two bucks out there. I'm like, I'm setting up a blind. Yep. So I ran back here, set up a blind, walked out. I saw one tonight that would probably had like 25 inches of horn on its head now. So it was like Damn, a four or either a six. It's a medium-sized buck. <laughs> <laughs> two years from now, maybe. Well, it's Sunday, the last day of the Wisconsin uh, deer gun season, except we live in the metro unit, so we still have a few extra days. But out here around the Mississippi, we're all done. We grabbed the two neighbors that we just met and did a drive in our land. So final, push everything out, um, 
jumped a few does, some fawns, no big bucks. We didn't see anything sneak by us. So um, we packed everything up and we're going to go head home. Hopefully we can get something in the metro unit. Yeah. 